All right. So now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms, and data structures beta. Learn basic JavaScript by building a role playing game. Step 121. All right. So the math object in JavaScript contains static properties and methods for mathematical constants and functions, believe it or not. Uh, one of those is math.random, which generates a random number from zero inclusive to one exclusive. Basically, when we do the random number, it'll go, it can include zero, but it will never be one, right? So that's what this is saying. Another is math.floor, which rounds down a given number to the nearest integer, right? So like if we have 1.5 and we put, if we put like uh, math.floor 1.5, it'll give us one, right? So that's basically how that works. So using these, we can generate a random number within a range. For example, this right here generates a random number between one and five, right? So first things first, we're doing the math.random and we're gonna multiply that by five, right? Then we're gonna wrap that up in this math.floor and then we're gonna add one to it, right? Now, the reason we do this, let me show you down here, all right? So let's say we do a math.random, all right? Let's say uh, math, let's say we do a math.random times five, right? Whoops. And we'll do uh, times five on this. Come on now. All right, so times five like this, right? So let's say the math.random comes out at like a point, uh, what would be a good number? Like a 0 0.09, right? 0 0.09. So then, so 0 0.09 times five, let's do this here. So 0 0.09 times five, times five would equal 0.45, right? So when we do a, when we wrap this up in the uh, math.floor, this would turn into, when we do a math.floor on this, and this is just, this is just an example, all right? So when we do a math.floor on this, it would turn out to equal zero because it's rounding down 0.45, right? Uh, and it would go down to zero. So that's why we add one to it. We would add one to it. Let's say uh, this like this. Look, I know this is confusing looking, but whatever. So we would do plus one and that would make the thing equal one. Anyway, anyway, hopefully that makes sense. This is obviously I'm not a math teacher, right? Uh, so that's why we do the plus one right here, because when it rounds down to zero, when we add one, it'll give us a number between one and five. Also, when it rounds down to four and we add one, it'll give us five, right? So there we go. So now following this pattern, we're gonna use the addition operator, so the plus sign, to add a random number between one and the value of XP to our monster health minus equals weapons at current weapon dot power, right? So this is a little bit confusing, but for this one, all it's saying is just add it. Okay, so we're gonna do add. So we've been using the plus sign as a concatenator because a string plus a string is another string. But when it's a number plus a number, it's just like regular addition, right? So we're doing this. We're going to say uh, plus math.random, random, all right? And we're going to multiply that, oh, come on, now, by XP, right? So we're multiplying that with whatever number the XP is. And then we're going to wrap this thing up in parentheses and we're going to say here math.floor, math.floor. And we're rounding that down. We're rounding this thing down, all right? And then if it gets to zero or if it's one less than the highest number, we're going to add one to it just so it makes it right, all right? And that's basically all they're telling us to do. Uh, and when we check the code, we can see it works, all right? So uh, there's that, and let's submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 122. And we'll see you next time.